Heart disease is the number one killer in the United States. The University of Miami Miller School of Medicine and UHealth is poised to fight heart disease head on while providing the best care for their patients. UM's Division of Cardiovascular Medicine is building on their reputation for innovation, groundbreaking research, and training the next generation of heart doctors worldwide. When you put such great talent together, it's like fission. You bring people together, they're greater than the sum of their parts. Sharing this vision is the cardiovascular medicine's new chief, Dr. Giannis Hachisisis. So there's uh, an opportunity here to bring the, this prestigious division of cardiology to the next level, build a division that is going to stand out at the state, national, international level. Dr. Hatzizizis is already recognized for pioneering work in cardiology, using artificial intelligence, using supercomputers to analyze data. This program will provide faster and more accurate solutions. Through these efforts, we can offer better care to our patients, do research, and at the same time, offer excellent teaching and education. And that's something that, that differentiates us from the others. Dr. Jeffrey Goldberger heads up the Center for Atrial Fibrillation. The center addresses a condition of irregular heart rhythms that can lead to heart attacks and strokes if untreated. AFib affects six million Americans and that number is expected to double by 2030. This is a very concerning problem. Probably is coincident with the growing epidemic of obesity and diabetes. It is a huge public health problem. We have to come at this from multiple different directions. The center has a number of studies aimed at improving treatments, but also looking at how to prevent it. We've gotten very, very good at identifying people who have high cholesterol, for example. Starting treatment very, very early to prevent complications, we need to think about atrial fibrillation in the same way. There's got to be something in atrial fibrillation that also develops over years that we can intervene on early to allow for prevention. Dr. Carl Oringer is leading research that will predict who is at risk for heart attacks. His research links calcium deposits in arteries to cholesterol buildup, a buildup that often leads to heart attacks. This calcium is detectable in CT scans, but is often overlooked. Thanks to artificial intelligence, that is no longer the case. We then moved ahead with a collaboration with a um, artificial intelligence group to implement this in our hospital more accurately and rapidly identify coronary calcium on these chest CT scans. This is information that is present using their judgment and the data from the artificial intelligence. They're going to be able to better assess how much calcium is present to determine how high a person's risk is. Dr. Carlos Alfonso is the medical director of Advanced Coronary Intervention and CTO program, as well as the program director of the Cardiology Fellowship. At a higher level, we're gonna also now have the availability to do what's called CTFFR uh, will, will be the first in Miami-Dade County uh, to have this technology where we could look at not only the CT anatomical information, but we'll be able to look at the physiology. We'll be able to better decide which patients truly do need to go to the cath lab versus could be treated with medicines, you know, without requiring an invasive procedure. So that's one of the, the exciting things about here being at the university is that we're part of the ongoing development and we're really at the forefront of the, of the field of cardiology, of where we're going for the next 10 years, 20 years, 50 years in cardiology. And so we're developing that. We're also working with our fellows, teaching the next generation of cardiologists. The Division of Cardiovascular Medicine is also leading the way to address hypertension or high blood pressure that affects nearly half of all Americans. Dr. Maria Delgado is the founding director of the Comprehensive Hypertension Center and an assistant professor of medicine at the University of Miami. We place a patch on the chest. Patient goes home, do their daily activity, and this patch measures the variability of the blood pressure throughout 24 hours. It's going to be revolutionary because it will change the way we monitor and diagnose hypertension. Ten years from now, we're going to see surgical procedures that can help us control blood pressure. Innovation means progress in surgery. I think that when we stop thinking about what the future is, then we, we move backwards. Dr. Joseph Lamellas is the chief of cardiac surgery, performing over 700 surgeries a year. 
That's more than double than the busiest surgeons in the country. We have the, the highest survival and the lowest complication, not only in the state of Florida, but compared to any other hospital in the country. I'm very proud to say that because it's a tremendous accomplishment. Today, UHealth's Division of Cardiovascular Medicine is building on their reputation of being the best to save more lives. We have the infrastructure, we have the vision, we have the tools, we have the recipe. My expectation and belief is that as we expand and go on this journey together in cardiology, that we will be a world destination for cardiac disease because this is where the cures happen. Academics, research, innovation. The Division of Cardiovascular Medicine at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine and UHealth.